So last time I was talking about the ingredients that you can start a compost pile with in the spring. Now I want to talk really about how we manage the compost pile. When I teach people about a compost pile, I really want to talk to them about the fact that they now have millions of pets that we call microbes. So last week we talked about how to feed them. Now today we really want to talk about how to take care of them. The first thing we do with a pet is give it exercise, and that's what we do by stirring the pile. The kind of microbes that we want living in this pile are aerobic, oxygen-loving microbes. Things like putting lateral stuff in there and burying it up might help oxygen come in. I've even seen people drill holes in PVC and put that down into the pile to help oxygen go down into the pile. But most important, we really probably need to stir that pile at least once a week. Anybody that's composted in Wyoming knows that our cold winters usually shut our piles off. They stop those microbes from working. But in the summertime, they stop because they get too dry. We've got to keep these microbes in an environment where they can live. We've got to keep our compost pile moist. We're probably going to have to water at least once a week in the summertime. The rule of thumb that I like to go by is when we pick that compost up, we want it to feel icky icky enough that we want to put it down, but then it doesn't stick to our hands. Kind of like a wet sponge. Again, there's a great publication on UW Extension's website called Backyard Composting. This is Hudson Hill, University of Wyoming Extension. You're watching From the Ground Up. Mm -hmm.